Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone 4 Modern Day Mode as Albania. We are back from vacation and we are back to the lovely, lovely, pretty goddamn great nation of Albania. Wow, yeah, we have really expanded right there. We had a very, very difficult war against Ukraine last episode. So I'm gonna sit, well, sit and relax a bit more with a small war against Moldova. And just, well, take them down and enjoy their lovely, lovely industry. God, they actually, they might be a tiny bit difficult because their unit technically could be pretty good. But as we see right now, well, we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, okay, this unit actually could be pretty annoying. Eight mechanized units, but we'll just keep it busy with these units and then just go straight for the capital and it will be over. So we can just sit and relax right there while we're just rebuilding our nation because it costs us, well not rebuilding our nation, but rebuilding our units. It costs us quite a bit of equipment to just manage this. Uh, we have half the mechanized on this one, we are missing 10 support equipment, not missing any tanks though. Yeah, as we, as you see, it's mostly just mechanized and support equipment that we're missing, luckily. So we're trying to fix that. We increased the number of factories on mechanized to 15. And we, well, are actually not training. Or trading. Trading for enough rubber right now. There we go. That's more proper. <sighs> God, I'm really tired. Uh, let's see. We don't actually have factories assigned on support. Port weapon. How come? How come we don't? Uh, let's see. That one is destroyed. Do we need more motorized? Yeah, we kind of do. So I think it's better if we just build a couple of more military factories. Um, let's build right there, right there. And let's build one. God, the infrastructure is crap right there. <laughs> one right there. Cool. And let's actually do it above that infrastructure, but let's prioritize repairing that military factory, please. Please. Uh, you don't actually have very much efficiency, so we'll do like this. Change that. Um, there we go, you have one factory, now we do this. Because as soon as it's repaired right now, it will be assigned on support weapon. And then the next one coming will be motorized and that uh, you barely lost. I don't think you lost any efficiency, to be honest. So yeah, that was just, well, splitting up the uh, military factories without any loss, really. Okay, cool. What else do we have right now? Uh, let's see, we have 0% consumer goods. Yes, actually we have minus 2%. So could we actually switch this one? Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, cool. We're going to go to moderate taxes right now. So, well, sure, we won't have stability ticking anymore. Uh, actually, right, we actually have a warmonger that <laughs> might need some of that. Uh, it's only 10% justification work all time, so I think actually I will switch you out to something else. Uh, let's see. No. Actually, that's pretty good. 15% civilian industry. Actually, let's see. Do we have a military industry guy? I don't think we do. No, we don't. So let's try to get that one, if actually actually exists in this mod, to be honest. Uh, let's see. That's constitutional, that's war industrialist. There we go. Oh, we can't actually switch him right now. We need a couple of days. If this ticks down to like 99.9% .9 right now, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> I'm going to be so pissed. Just, just give me enough, enough experience so we can actually switch. Oh my god, I'm going to be so angry if this ticks down. <laughs> I can't accept that it says 99 right there. Come on, just a tiny bit more. <laughs> tiny bit more pulley power. Don't you dare tick down. Don't you freaking dare tick down. <laughs> I've. Oh, come on, come on, two more days. And one more day. Okay, cool, cool, we're safe. <laughs> Let's see, military industry. Uh, there are you, war industrialist. Thank you. So, we shouldn't have any stability change right now. No, cool. Uh, else, otherwise, let's see, why I really switched to taxes, by the way, is so I wouldn't have the 4% research penalty right there. You get minus or plus 5% research penalty right there, which is kind of ridiculous. So yeah, I just wanted to change that ASAP, and it also, 
yeah, it also has 10% willpower right there, moderate taxes. Wow, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I, I'm definitely fine with that. I actually never, I didn't look at it. But yeah, I'm 100% fine with that. And there we go, Modern Blitzkrieg. That's gonna finish our tanks to the top level. And we'll be, well, good from there. Let's see. Uh, we need factories on everything, please. And then we're gonna switch. Well, then we're gonna increase mo uh, mechanized amount in this tank. Let's see. Uh, we have 19 divisions, so I want 5 more. There we go. As soon as we can, I want five more divisions, and then we're gonna start increasing this. We're gonna increase it, we're gonna add more tanks, we're gonna add more uh, self propelled artillery, but I always like one stack. Like, it, I don't know why, really. 19 tanks are fine, to be honest. It's absolutely fine. We could be playing with 19 tanks for a very long time, but I don't know, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> it simply doesn't feel right. So, um, I think I've said everything I want to say, because... You made a lot of comments on these four videos and I always bring at least a couple of them up when I've done a large pre-recording because you talked a lot about different things and let's see. Some of you in the last episode. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Uh, saw you in the last episode, so I guess episode four wanted me to colonize Africa. I guess. I guess you can always get a colony in Africa. <laughs> We'll see what we can do, though I wouldn't recommend it right now because now well, let's say this is this isn't the best <laughs> naval invasion. This isn't the best naval invasion division, so I'm gonna try to avoid it for a slight while before. We, once we're at NATO, we might go around and take Greece, Turkey, and just go around right here and maybe take a colony or two. Uh, let's see what else did he say? Um, quick a faction with Transnistria as again a reference to the old series. I don't think they would like me very much. Well, actually, yes, they would. They are communist. I might look into that. I might actually look into that. That would be pretty cool. Uh, then a bunch of like campaign suggestions in all four videos. I like it. I like it. Now I have um, I have a good amount. I have a good amount I can look through and then you start picking from. Thank you. I really appreciate all the suggestions. I will take a look. Well, I will take a look. I actually will write them up. I have a small little list. And I'm checking it twice before I start a new campaign. But I, well, I haven't actually, uh, to be honest, I haven't updated it in quite a while. So hopefully I can, well, update it properly and write down everything. Uh, let's see. What should we do right now? Like, what the hell should we take? I'm, I'm not very sure. Most of the things are ahead of time that I want. Oh, here. At least we have two things right here. <laughs> Algorithm and, well, decryp decryption. Uh, encryption and decryption. That's what it's called. God damn it, Daniel. But yeah. Uh, let's see. If you continue, don't annex, annex Greece. Well, sorry, I will be annexing Greece. Um, well, if I declare war against NATO right now, because I never saw a real, well, a real big favor for attacking NATO or attacking Russia. Well, one thing you at least seem to be, well, consistent over is NATO is harder than Russia. Okay, so depending on how strong I feel, I will go for NATO or Russia. That's basically how I understood your comments. So, well, if I feel very strong, we go NATO. If I feel a bit weaker and want some more support, one, well want some more support. I, I don't know if I should say want some more support, because in this case it means, well, let's invade and take down Russia and get the ex extra factory and manpower from there as support. So, <laughs> let's have a smaller war for more factories so we can have a larger war later. And that's support. <laughs> God damn it, Daniel. Uh, let's see, I'm just double checking all the comments right now to see if I actually forgot anything big. Uh, I should still learn how to pr pronounce J. Okay, interesting. <laughs> um, oh, well, I guess the biggest complaint in all these videos were where the, why the hell did I not go monarchist? Well, we have a house of Sog right here, but he's not led by King Sog. He's led by Leka 1. And I don't think that's proper. So I went with communist and hoping that, well, People would understand that they need a recruitable population right there. Otherwise, like, 
it's not very good, Valleys of Old. You get Justification War Gold Time and you get Weekly Spility. That's, like, sure, that's a great thing. Weekly Spility plus 0.2. Awesome, it's really good. But other than that, it's pretty goddamn crap. Here we get more recruit population, recovery rate, daily pull power, and less justification work all time. It's just generally much better. What you could get from King Sog is basically go to very high taxes, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Or, well, maybe one or two advisors that actually reduces his ability, but yeah. So, uh, I think I actually will do infrastructure upgrades right here. Just pick all of them because we are not in the best situation. So, if you could just generally bump up my infrastructure everywhere, I would think, well, everywhere in three different places. But yeah, I would actually appreciate it. So, uh, we have one more resource slot right now, finally. That took a very, very long time. Uh, let's get atomic research for, well, even more research speed right there. And uh, let's see. We have a war goal against Moldovia, Moldova. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm for some reason always trying to say Moldovia, and maybe it's correct as well. But um, well, it says Moldova, so I'm gonna try to say Moldova. Uh, okay, we have three military factories right now. Good. We have two of them extra. What are we missing the most? We have minus 800 mechanized and minus 900. Wow. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna add more mechanized and more support weapon god we're missing a lot of you actually let's even do like this no not that oh my god well now it's done at least um you're gonna go up to 25 you you have five factories right now so hopefully that will be enough god uh, i'm gonna hide that one let's see do we have anything special we can do we can get more experience points but uh who cares well, I guess we just, yeah, I guess we need this war more than I actually expected. Not only for the factories, but just to relax a bit. We are, that, that war with the Ukraine really just took, to, took us to a massive beating. We lost way much than I actually expected. That's gonna take a very long time to rebuild. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Division reinforcement. Division reinforcement. Right, right, god damn it, Daniel. Don't scare yourself like that. I forgot that I actually added these five units right there, which means 105 support equipment each, 230 motorized, and 100 mechanized, and 50 tanks each. <sighs> god damn it, Daniel. <laughs> I, completely, I completely forgot about it, and yeah. And we're gonna get the civilian guy as last, so we can have, well, if we wanna build more civilian or infrastructure or anything like that. I can build it faster. Uh, what we're gonna switch out after this is probably that we're gonna... Actually, let's see. We're right now at minus 4% right here. Good. Uh, so I'm probably gonna switch out uh, the famous businessman to... Uh, let's see, either fortification engineer or... Let's see, where is the infrastructure guy? I think we have one. Uh, naval un industrial there road builder 25% increased construction speed for infrastructure and together with the civilian one it becomes over 30% or no it becomes 30% not over 30% so yeah that's actually a really good one for just yeah bumping up my entire nation I believe we might need it everything I think I did everything right here to over level 5 no we have apparently a couple I missed or just maybe maybe I didn't do this Come on, everything right here is level 5. Did I cancel it? I must have cancelled it or... S oh wait, no, all of this Ukraine. All of that was Ukraine, except this region that I apparently missed. But yeah, everything right here will... Well, I'm gonna bump up the infrastructure everywhere. So, having all of both of those bonuses will help me quite a bit with that. With that. Uh, let's do... Oh, all of those are way too far away actually be useful uh, let's see any defense oh yeah here modern modern fatigues cool and uh, let's get that one and let's begin the war with Moldova uh, yeah everything is fine cool let's begin the war so at least even in a peaceful episode or a peaceful episode even in a bit more relaxing episode sure of course we're still going to war uh, I don't see a reason why I would attack with any units in the north because they're probably not gonna well, it's not gonna matter really if I go to war with them or not. Since the guys in the south gonna take the capital and there we go. Quick and easy. Wow. 
that's 480 civilian factories or 480 mechanized units and that's exactly what I needed cool thank you uh, let's see now I have you being guaranteed by Russia so I can't do anything by you maybe I can get an alliance with you oh still not and there we go finally the peace deal happened wow that took a very long time and you are an ex and I see a bit more equipment cool and that means we almost have enough mechanized now we have more than enough mechanized we have plus 400 mechanized wow thank you uh, we also have enough support weapon so well support weapon are fine support equipment are fine but mechanized yeah they are generation one mechanized so I would well if I can avoid it not use them so we're just gonna build up more myself because generation one to compare with ones I'm building yeah compared to the difference 26 34 2014 so they're actually faster than mine uh, but piercing I have much more piercing armor I have much more armor and just breakthrough soft attack anti-air more in everything so sure they're not okay they're not as bad as I thought they would be but I'd rather not use them so um any anyone we can actually go for right now that isn't NATO well Hungary is NATO but we go Slovakia we can go Bosnia Herzegovina we can go Croatia Slovenia I would really like to reach Austria if possible and take them down but expanding right here would be very weird and once the war with NATO actually begun the borders would be absolutely horrendous if we went into Slovakia and then we took Austria but I think we might just have to accept it going from the south sure but then it's one two three nation and then four Austria otherwise it's one two We'll, we'll we'll get horrible borders. Let's just try to get the horrible borders. So all divisions right here and is focusing. Actually, I hope the supply can actually handle that. 61. Uh, it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Cool. Okay. Um, let's see. We have work to do for all those military factories. Uh, actually, we already have the work assigned. But why in hell you keep stealing my factories? That makes no sense. Why are you stealing my factories from anti-air and uh, artillery? Anti-air and artillery. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Why in hell do you keep stealing it? Stop it. I want everything to have their proper, well, proper factories. Weird. Very weird. Uh, let's see. Engineering. Nope. Nope. Maybe we should focus on a bit of anti-air. Or oh, wait, 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 wait. First, let's fix that <laughs> naval transport. In case we need it for, well, in a year, a two, uh, in two years, or maybe not at all until the very, very end of this campaign, let's just get it right now. I have had so many campaigns where I just forget about it, and then, well, don't, rem well, don't remember it until it's way too late, and you just have to sit and wait for it to happen. So let's just do it right now so we don't forget about it. See, oh right, we can't even create factions, but we can make that focus so we actually can. Uh, maybe we should just do it so I actually know which faction, well, which members in the world that would actually accept an alliance with Albania, with communist Albania. Okay, so that we got going for us as well. Let's see. God, I, I'm just feel sorry about this episode. I'm just feeling completely drained right now i'm so tired i'm so ridiculously tired but i have to record this episode right now <laughs> otherwise we're not gonna get the next episode in time uh also we're an hour late yesterday with the episode so i really want this to be in time so i well got up a bit earlier to record it even though i'm ridiculously sleep deprived from my vacation it was n well let's say the not not most optimal sleep conditions right there uh, okay, let's see, uh, decisions, <laughs> I think it maybe, 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 oh wait, I can't do an anything with you, of course, but maybe I should be able to upgrade you, hmm, oh shit, this is not out of time, that's out of time, but I should probably get the next one right here. It all takes 37 days, so I'm actually gonna wait with no. Let's let's just finish that. 
let's just finish it because otherwise i promise you i'm gonna forget about it until i actually might need it and then i'm gonna hate myself for not actually fixing it so let's just do it right now that should mean we can at least transport 30 units oh actually it's all the way up to 50 units right here so it's better than a base game but yeah 50 units that should be enough okay uh, what else can we do right now? Um, we have 25 factories right here, so I think we need to bump up the tanks to at least at least 20. Uh, that means we're missing both chromium and we're missing oil. Let's trade a bit chromium with South Africa. And we're missing oil apparently. So I'd rather not actually trade for it. If I can, I would like to build for it. Or at least, uh, let's see, that would grant me three more. But I doubt we have any more good areas good areas no good areas good areas uh, actually right here come here cool that would bump it up by another well 10 but yeah we need more than that so we're gonna have to build a couple of buildings as well let's see and uh, we're gonna remove one right there to build a refinery actually can we get more refineries right there yeah cool we can get two of them right there uh, let's see any other area that's pretty decent. Yeah, both of you. Let's get one up there And you are on your last factory then let's just take one more right there. Cool. That's gonna be another at least 12 But that means we still have to trade for something and we still need it right away. So slow but steadily we're gonna well Cancel these trades one by one as soon as we have enough uh, We also need to trade a tiny bit more rubber. So let's fix that as well. Cool Yeah Nice. <sighs> but yeah, SP, self propelled, we need to upgrade you. Uh, let's see how big of a difference is it actually between level 1 and level 2. Uh, let's see, we have there and we have there. Uh, it costs a bit more steel, that should be fine, uh, but otherwise, the, well, the same in both oil and tungsten. You have, wow. 70 soft attack versus 92 that's quite a big difference uh, you have more armor you have double the breakthrough half the defense so you're just becoming even more offensive huh okay but you have more armor still okay you, you just can't defend anymore but you're really good at and this one once again improves defense Compared to, comparably with the first one. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe a bit weird, but fine. I don't really care. There we go. Uh, get that one up and rolling. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? 165 blue power. Uh, right. I was going to switch out you to the infrastructure guy. Right there. Road builder. Right there. All roads leads to Albania. So, and um, we gotta bump up the rest to at least level 5. And that's level 5 already. That's 2 more. That's 2 more. That's 2 more. That's 2 more. This is 5. Holy shit. And. Oh, actually, both of them should get theirs. And that's 3 more. That's 2 more. That's 2 more. Wow, that's a lot. A lot of steel. Good. Uh, we might fix that even more. That's 2 more. Uh, this should be even more steel then. Yeah. Plus 6 for one level. Or? What? This is actually being better than this one. Have we built? I gotta have a steel building then. No? Wow, that's weird. Right? That's gotta be weird. Why am I getting more from this area for two levels than I get right there? Like, in total, you get plus 52. Right here, total, you will get plus 19. So, you will have more when even half upgraded than you have. Well, well, okay, okay, that doesn't really make, it, make a point, but why are you getting more than this area? Eh, weird. Uh, plus 3 right there, you're gonna get plus 3 as well. And then you plus two. Cool. Cool. And that should fix all of Ukraine. So, 
Of course, I'm coming into your nation. I might be taking over it. I might be destroying a couple of things while I'm there, but don't worry, I'm rebuilding it very soon after that. There we go, the five X units have arrived. We have 20 Void Divisions right now. It's time to upgrade them. It's time to upgrade them, actually do something proper with them. We have 800 extra tanks, so we should hopefully be able to add one more right here. And no, we can't, of course, because it's 24 divisions right now. We need 1.2k. Uh, maybe some more SP that actually works. Maybe change out one of these mechanized. Nope. So we're missing a bit in everything except, well, SP. So I might just do this anyway. And we actually are 23 combat with right now. And I would like to avoid that for as long as possible. Well, we are going for 40. Then we, instead of actually switching you out, I'm going to build one more. We just add mechanized infantry right there. And that should bump this up to 26. Good. And then we're going to continue that way. Sure, we don't have enough equipment for everyone right now. We are going to. It's very, very soon we're going to. We're going in for Slovakia. Uh, it's not guaranteed or saved by anyone. No. And they have, well, sure, they have a lot of mechanized right here. But none of them actually have a proper amount of equipment. So we'll go in, steamroll them, and just take your stuff. How does that sound? Pretty good? I agree. So going in, killing them, taking all their stuff. <laughs> God, I'm, I feel like a pirate. Yar, take what you can. Give nothing back. Uh, let's do armor focus right now, because going on right here, we'll get our... Well, we're going to have more units eventually than one single command group so getting this one so all my new starter commands will start at level 2 is actually bad because I doubt I very very much doubt they're actually fixed so to get stat increases at level 2 so that's actually just a bad thing so we're gonna ignore you we're gonna get army training we're gonna get artillery focus armor focus land doctrine Recruitment strategies because this is the one I'm aiming for just getting a bit more manpower right there as well But I will actually have to end this episode right now But I hope you guys enjoyed it that you will like comment and subscribe and that I will see you guys next time. Bye and bye